Yeah, yeah. I love Pikachu. PRG good. There's been some weird backlash to Pikachu. I, you know, I don't get it. I know some people out there, they don't like getting gimped. I don't like getting gimped either. I like watching people get gimped, though. It yep. is, uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool. And Pikachu's, you know, one of the faster mid-tiers, so. Yeah, some of them, uh, some people think Pikachu's straight Gorgonzola. But uh, yeah. I, I think Pikachu's cool. You got also, you can just stuff. shred Pikachu so hard. I love comboing Pikachu with Fox. It's one of my favorite characters. Just like light, you just kind of carry him with Nair over and over. Like I died up smash early. Yeah, it's watching fun to bite. watching S Fed versus Axe is just like S -Fed perfect for that. Destroys Pikachu, like, dude. <laughs> I I forgot what tournament I I was at. It might have been Riptide. I think yeah, I think it was, it was Riptide. Riptide. I uh, bet like thirty dollars on it. Somebody was so confident Axe was gonna go in, dude. I was like, I, I will bet as much as you want. They're like thirty. I was like, sure. <laughs> I should have put money on that, dude. I was like, that's yeah. If you know, you know. That's a good one to yeah. bet on. And you'll get Axe fans who will bet hard, too. That's a little secret tip for y'all in chat. If you're ever at a top eight as fat Axe playing, yeah, just go drop, a, go drop a fat stack. Yo, what's up, Bobak? How you doing? Brief, brief detour from the match to talk about Riptide betting. It was really funny. I was, like, sitting in the front row at Riptide, and there was, like, one dude sitting next to me, and every H-Box head, like, 20, like, ultimate players came up to him, and they were, like, trying to bet on H-Box every single set. And he That's was always so betting funny. on whoever was in H-Box. But, like, I was like, man, <laughs> this guy has an insane number of fans in Ultimate. And there was, it was, like, a huge crowd. Like, I got five on H-Box. I got five on H-Box. I was like, <laughs> man, I should have taken some of these. Like That's hilarious. <laughs> Riptide was a good event. Yeah. This has been super fun today. I'm so excited for Genesis. That's going to be an awesome one. Yeah, it's just Genesis great to see everyone like again. It's great to see Ralph's Pikachu. It's so legit. Beat me in doubles. That was the first time I saw it. It was like my second set of the day. Still waking up a little bit. I'm like, Ralph Pikachu. And now here we are. He is shredding it like a free bird solo. Practicing Pikachu all week. I would yeah. like to see what other characters Ralph has. More than a week, I'm pretty sure. Like, yeah. <laughs> way more than a week. He's been practicing Pikachu for a while. Yeah. Maybe he was preparing it super hard, though. Yeah, for yeah. this tournament. Oh, I love nice. the down air placement. His move placement just shows that it's definitely fleshed out. It's not not a random little character he threw out. It's synergy in doubles was really cool, too, to see the way that a player as good as Ralph in doubles was able to apply all the same fundamentals to a character like Pikachu. It is like kind of mini Fox in a lot of ways. Yeah. And uh, can go super deep off stage without being as threatened as Fox is. I think Pikachu's probably better in doubles than uh, than singles. That was a cool upbeat, and that's what I was talking about earlier about true option selects. Um, it, he he did a upbeat to where it went straight to ledge and then straight up to where he'd fall on stage, and if PRZ grabbed the ledge, then he would go on stage. If PRZ didn't grab ledge, he would grab ledge instead using the same input. So like an option select is when you can cover multiple options using the same input, and Pikachu's really good at that for recovering, which is why it seems so hard to edge guard them sometimes. Need to do like the rinse and repeats at ledge, like the back airs, the rising invincible back airs, and just catch them in that in between time. Of the ledge to on stage. Yeah. So far though, PRZ looking like one of the uh, few potential matches for. Oh my gosh. For Ralph's uh, Pika. This here. is an this absolute is sick combo. Yeah. This this is actually some S fat stuff. Right yeah. Here. That that like drill poke into the falling up air. Yeah, and then he would end it with like drill up throw single it up air or something. But I guess we're on Dreamland, so that yeah. wouldn't kill. Woo! It's fun to be in NorCal talking about SFAT again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Had to go everywhere else for tournaments besides here. <laughs> now, there's been some cool locals and stuff in uh, NorCal to check out, like Four Stock Friday. Oh! Oh! And that's going to be game one. It. Yeah, it keeps it. Yeah, I, I heard some audience noise there, even though deep in the noise canceling headphones, What's people got hyped for that. 1 0 Ralph. 1 0 Ralph, yeah. Got Nick M. Witt asking the score, people watching. Big old crowd, everybody's watching this set now. Less games playing. Got Kevbot and Nathan in the front line. Firefly from Hawaii, this Pika is legit. Yeah. Yeah, it is legit. <laughs> Beat NMW in the. Uh, and Flarg earlier, the super well in doubles. Firefly's pretty legit too. Yeah, Firefly is, is sick. I've never seen a Firefly. Oh my gosh, was that a little, well, not T-Drop. T-Drop you can only do on a- On five, five. Yeah. What, what is it called? 
when you do it on Osage. I do it all the PC time. PC drop? PC drop, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Oh, that side B is uh, I think you could have just Waveland up smashed that, honestly. Yeah, there's so much end lag, but, like, not many moves in melee have that much end lag, so you're not really used to it. Like, yeah, that's true. You're like, oh, I need to punish this before they down smash me. Yeah. Oh. Good pickup, but also, like, good DI on it. Oh nice recognition. Yeah. Couldn't get there with the dare in time, so they went back to ledge. Pikachu has the ability to do that, too, which is so cool. That's another layer that I think people don't see when they talk about how Pikachu is just cheese and stuff like that. The nuance to the Gimps is a lot different. Pikachu has more availability to be able to, like, react, Gimp, and do, do like, sick options while already out there versus a lot of characters, compared to a lot of characters. Yeah. Yeah, oh. a lot of Pikachu's Gimps are just, like, hard reads, but then there's situations like that where you're, like, in a position where you can just react and, and cover yeah. everything, and it's like, why is that lame with Pikachu does it compared to, like, Fox or any other character yeah. that can do that? So. It's like Pikachu can actually play the game a little bit while still in the air. Like, not as extreme as Puff or anything, obviously, but it's kind of yeah. the same thing. Like, Puff has different ability in the air to still play melee compared to most characters. So you get some cool interactions with that. Oh, oh my gosh. That is some S-Fat stuff. <laughs> yeah. Just destruction, especially on the side platform, able to give a little extra height. And right. now we're at a true even game. Not much off the invincibility, but I like that stop turnaround up tilt. Yeah. Yeah, I think BRZ did that a couple times versus Kebot too. And then a lot of also falling up bears into shine on shield. Both those transition really well to fighting Pikachu too. I think up tilt is a great tool, and I think you're falling up bears, especially to poke shield. Pikachu shield isn't the best. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh, what's he going to get? Oh, slides off this top platform. That shield is tiny right now, but <laughs> getting the yeah. tail somehow. Landing behind Pikachu's Calling shield out. is not where you want to be. Oh, okay. It's all the way back still. <laughs> PRZ taking oh, there it is. time with the ledge dash like you are talking about earlier. Need to refresh that ECB more. Gets a solid ledge dash and takes the game. Yeah, 1-1 one, one, one. One now. And they're we're just going straight set. into it. Yeah, okay. FD. Here it is. Man, this chain grab is looking brutal so far. Yeah. And that's it. That is it. Got all the pummels as well. Was able to end it quicker. Yeah. Yeah. And just kind of. Oh, that could have been bad. It's kind of scary DIing off stage because uh, <laughs> you know you could just get that. Man, Ralph, two super efficient I stocks know, at eight for percent. Real. Sheesh, Rabbit saying. <laughs> I don't know what I expect on this fine Saturday night, but it wasn't to see Ralph's Pikachu going off. I agree, but you know what? I'm glad I am. Yeah, I just realized it's Saturday. I, <laughs> I was used to the tomorrow's Halloween on Sunday. Yeah, tomorrow's Halloween. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just like felt like I had work tomorrow, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. That's a come up. <laughs> All right, oh, another nice grab. It's, I think we might see another stock off of yeah. this. Center stage. Ralph has practiced this, geez. This is one of the easier chain grabs, too. Yeah, so I've heard. It's like Peach. Yeah, I've heard Peach. Oh, that he's was a really so cool edge cancel edge up there. Cancels. Definitely called that out earlier. Oh, my gosh, I saw that coming. Wow. Ralph is nuts. Okay, gets the grab. Wow. Oh, three just doesn't even try to get back. How many times have we seen Ralph three stalk someone tonight? <laughs> quite a few. Yeah, quite a few. Two, one now. Potential set ending stalk. Ralph could find themselves on the winner's side of Grands. Again, somebody attacking my microphone. <laughs> Yeah, and here we are on, on Dreamland. Uh, interesting counter pick. This feels like kind of neutral. Actually, this might be where they started. But FD, I mean, uh, Dreamland is just a pretty neutral stage in general, I feel like. It's just big. There's platforms. It's a platform yeah. fighter. <laughs> Wispy sucks, though. Yeah. Not a big fan of Wispy, but I don't really care as much. I hate Shy Guys more, to be honest. Yeah, I'm an environmental hazard hater for the most part. <laughs> I like Randall. Yeah, I mean, Randall's, Randall's sick. 
I, I just like, especially in friendlies, I just like don't even play the game and then just try to show off my knowledge of Randall's timers as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> the Randall just is so sick. I had like a little sticky note on my desk for a while that I like the Randall timing. Randall timing, timing yeah. <laughs> Okay. Not gonna kill. Hit, yeah. If only that was a double. Did somebody should make a skin um, where it's like a double rainbow. Oh, Dreamland. Yeah. Was that, remember when everybody would just make auto tune songs of like meme videos? <laughs> it's climbing in your windows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Early 2010 stuff. Oh, 2010s hit. So hard. They had different. Back when times were for re simple. Yeah, back for when real. there was no. Uh, back when we were just sitting on a toilet. <laughs> yeah, we had. Uh, well, not Swine. Swine Flu was like 2008. Oh, my God. Uh, we had Ebola. Yeah, Ebola. We had Ebola. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Ebola season. My favorite arc. Yeah. That's not going to do it either. Dreamland. Uh, I mean, it's been working out. But it doesn't. This is like. Less so, but I kind of feel this in the puff matchup sometimes too, where it's like, like as a puff player, like up throw up air is just so hard to link because it's such a specific percent. But uh, Fox still does like a lot of annoying stuff on Dreamland. But sometimes you just get skimmed to 28 and rattles oh back in. And yeah, made it back. Looking like Pythagorean theorem over there, like making triangles and just <laughs> tipping yeah, yeah. everywhere. Yeah, Ralph doing some uh, some crazy math right now. Yeah, <laughs> some sick geometry. Yeah, y'all don't know this, but uh, Axe actually has some graph paper every time he plays a set, and he just uh, <laughs> yeah, he he's drawing angles, overlays it on the know. TV. Remember when they would sell those things for like Call of Duty that you put on your TV? Like it's like a you like line it up for your TV, and it would <laughs> tell you like where you should aim. Oh, I <laughs> I did not know this. There were like little That's stickers funny. and stuff. R Axe just puts graph paper on the TV. <laughs> Pull the protractor up. Golden Eye players do that. What do you? What's the the real short dude? The hat. Stick a dot in the middle of the screen. What's his name with the hat? Bolt. I was gonna say Ebola hat. <laughs> <laughs> Golden Eye must have a crazy meta. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, Ralph is nuts. Oh, Ralph almost. is. Uh, That's the first thing we've seen Ralph miss. Uh, Edge guard and up B at the and same time. And with that miss, we're going to get a game five. So Game five. Third game five in a row. Dude, Very this, hype. Yeah, this tournament's been crazy. And here we are yet again Another on one. Fountain. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I always wonder if there's, like, new people on Twitch chat sometimes. Probably not in this Twitch chat because it's not, like, a major, but, like, just like people who haven't seen that before. Yeah, and there's just some like old heads <laughs> in this chat. Yeah, every, yo, everyone here's been around. Uh, yo, uh, type in chat if uh, you started playing melee during the Slippy era. If like Slippy got you into melee, I'm curious. Yeah, we have a couple of people. I mean, Free Hops, Vesper, uh, probably some other people, but here at the tournament who are Slippy, uh, Slippy kids. Yeah. Let's see here. Pretty even so far. Nice tech chase. Follows that roll really well, and we're getting some action on these platforms. Ralph oh. not letting it go. Thunder, and is oh it going to kill? Not quite. Is Ralph making it back? No, no he's, he's not, not. But PRZ finding themselves being real happy after getting their ass comboed across the stage and everywhere in between. Yeah. That is Ralph dying at 36%. That's that is big. tough for Ralph. Hey, Gumby, what's Ligma? Yeah, what is Ligma? I mean, I've no actually never heard of this. I actually got diagnosed with Devane the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, is uh, is Candice in chat right now? <laughs> Where, where's Candice? I forgot at? about. <laughs> 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 Just check. Oh, that up air snipe could have been cool. I haven't thought about that. Trying to snipe the up B, up air from ledge. I mean, yeah. this is like dead close. The vein of dis. <laughs> like how that was their first uh, chat message. Too. I know. <laughs> the vein is the name of Fat Goku's Falco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, wow. oh come on, Ralph is this just is like yeah, some the past uncharacteristic two games, mistakes. Yeah, very uncharacteristic. Uh, as somebody who's watched like four sets of Ralph's Pikachu, the set is uh, been the shakiest for sure. Yeah, he's like, am I actually gonna do it? All right, Ralph. Somebody just popped off. Oh! Oh! Ralph! Ralph! He did it to oh! him! No! He takes Ralph it! Game five! He does the axe thing! 30%. He did the axe thing! He did the axe thing! Finals. He did Winter the axe thing! Winner's side! Wow. Ralph, Ralph with Pete. We got a Pikachu. Demon time, baby. In grand finals.